Hey guys, this is Hot Noob here, and I'm just going to play this intro clip. Anyway, uh, today I got a, a request on my blog to show how to make um, a form or to do a tutorial on a form um, on how to make a form or something. Um, don't exactly really know where that comment is. Anyway, um, since creating a form is actually a lot of work from scratch, that is, like creating a form from scratch, I'm just going to show the one that I did here, and I'm going to show the basics. Um, I'm just going to see if I can get the source code up here. Okay, and... Alright. So pretty much here, I'm just going to open up the index page here. Um, all we're doing is we're outputting a bunch of topics and whatever. In the database, I actually have the the section, <coughs> the sections and topics in the same um, table. All I've done is change the value called children or whatever, and it determines um, which um, section or topic is the topic and which one is a section. Um, in the blog, in the blog comments, um, he mentioned that um, he had trouble with the logins. Um, to do that, I'm just gonna open it up here to show you my setup as well. Okay. So login is cute, right? So we've got session check. So pretty much, um, I'm going to open up the session check as well. So pretty much what we're doing is we're taking a look at their um, IP address and um, we're setting a cookie called session or sess, right? And uh, this value is what is um, determining pretty much all of their information. So we um, create a query here to select uh, the data where the session is equal to the session and the IP is equal to their IP address, right? Um, the whole point of the whole IP check, by the way, is so that people can't steal your cookie and, um, you know, just steal your login and whatever, right? That's why we have a whole IP address check. And the reason for not doing a host check um, is because it's actually a bit slow. So, yeah. Anyway, for the session, all it is is pretty much the time that they log in. So I'll show it up here. Um, right? Um, set whatever session plus expiry time or whatever, right? and then you put that all into the database and that's pretty much your logins right you use a single cookie and you take a look at their IP address in combination of the MySQL database right um, it's really just playing around like these top uh, sections here again are also in the same table so there's actually only really two tables I'll see if I can open up PHP my admin here um, Alright, looks like my MySQL is working. I believe I put it in form. Um, let me make sure. Yeah, okay, so this is the right one. So as you can see, I pretty much just have topics and posts, right? So I'm just going to open up a post here. So, um, sure, whatever this one. Unfortunately, the server's a bit slow right now. Um, and the script's not completely finished. I've got some minor issues with it and whatever. But anyway, pretty much what happens here is you get uh, the username, you store the user ID or whatever in the database, and then you um, select the information in it. So if you want it to be more efficient, you can put all of the information into the post along with it. 
but the problem is if you have any non-static uh, information or whatever it's going to be a lot more um, difficult to manage so instead we I just have it select from the user table or whatever so pretty much here as you can see here it has T so I'm pretty m um, in the in the posts right I'll open this up you have a ID and then you should have um, a parent ID right so parents right and the parent here determines which topic um, it goes under right so the query w in this case would be um, select from posts where parent is equal to 131 right and then for the sing signature here um, same thing with here right it, it um, collects the signature when it does um, this here anyway um, as for permissions um, that's done on a entirely different thing and you have your basic user control panel messages PMs whatever right it's all basic stuff right um, most of it is just um, database management is really very very simple making a form is very simple just because you look at um, PHBB 3 or whatever right and how it's set up um, don't get don't uh, think you have to set it up all like them right PHBB 3 on its own is very inefficient right that's the consequence of it being um, sort of manager friendly or whatever you want to call it can't really even call it developer friendly so yeah um, if you're worried about efficiency though what you should do is I only did this partially um, I guess I'll go in the programming section here, um, C++, I think I did C add a C++ for it, I don't know. Yeah, so um, basically I use JavaScript to put in all of the colors and stuff. What you should do is use JavaScript to handle all of the BB code, right? That way your server does absolutely no farsing or anything, right? It's all done client side. And if you do, if you program it right, it shouldn't take too much use CPU usage on the user side, right? And this is as you, this as you can see took, you know, you didn't even see this load here, right? That's how fast it was, right? And whatever. So it's not that difficult. Um, and uh, a plus side is you you don't need to store the FARS version, and. Um, <coughs> Right, as you can see here, I have two tables. I have one for post and one for BB code. If you do use pure JavaScript, only JavaScript to fars out the BB code or whatever, then you'd only need the BB code and it would save a lot of, um, you know, translations or whatever, a lot of effort on the server side. It is slightly less um, secure, but the only difference really is that um, the user will be able to hack their own. Um, JavaScript right and change the BB code to do whatever but you can do that normally so it really makes no difference you might as well just do it um, client side so that's pretty much it um, pretty much uh, when you're making a form the goal is to put as much as you can on to the the client side right so the server doesn't have to do a lot of um, processing that's one of the biggest issues with forums. As you can see here, um, right now the server is pretty slow. It's been having issues with the SQL, but as you can see, the load times are fairly quick, quick unless um, you're going into one of the bad parts of the database. I'll just show it up here on the local host here. Uh, sorry, not local host, but my server here. Um, I actually have this one still set on login. Right, so this is on a different database, and as you can see, right, this is um, four, five, six posts or so, and it's generated in, you know, still way less than a second. And my server here is having issues, right? And oh crap, I've just been banned. I have a whole bunch of auto ban features here if you do weird things. Anyway, um, that's pretty much it to form. It's really just simple. Um, the biggest thing is just keeping organized, right? I actually did this in about three days of work.
so it's not overly complex. Right? Has its basic features. It's not completely um, done and whatever. Right? Pretty much the longest part, the most uh, work in this took um, was just getting this to be compatible on every server and um, you know making it look remotely good. I'm not actually very good at the designing portion. Anyway, um, hopefully that's enough to get you guys started on how to on making your own blogs from scratch, or I mean your forums from scratch. It's pretty simple and. Um, yeah, so this is Hot Noob. Come check out my blog, hotnoob.com. See you guys later.